I would like to talk, uh, consider about the uh, long gamma ray burst associated with uh, supernova explosion. So only, as you know, only small fraction of supernova can produce gamma ray burst. We don't know how it is uh, the central engine is working, but uh, uh, people, many people are considering that uh, uh, something is happening in, at the center of the massive star and the magnet or black hole may be produced at the center and the jet is launched and the, when the jet uh, breaks out the progenitor star and if you see the jet uh, from this uh, position, uh, this jet is observed as gamma ray burst. This is what uh, many people are considering. But uh, this is just an animation, uh, computer graphics. So we needed, need to confirm this picture by a realistic numerical simulation. OK. Uh, I'd like to, first, I'd like to review the history of the numerical study on the central engine of gamma ray burst. Uh, long gamma ray burst. Uh, this is not so um, <clears throat> long, and because partially uh, first report on the association of a gamma ray burst with a hypernova was done in 1998, so not so uh, long history. So, and outline as as uh, Professor Kuma. Let's talk on uh, yesterday. Uh, outline of explosion mechanism is still under debate. And we don't know uh, whether black hole or neutron star is formed at the center. Also, we don't know the key process to drive a gamma ray burst jet. Maybe neutrinos or maybe a uh, magnetic field. So uh, there are several promising scenarios like a rotating black hole with neutrino heating, or a rotating black hole with strong magnetic field, or a rotating neutron star with strong B fields. So there are some numerical uh, study. And uh, this is a, a scenario of the black hole with neutrino heating. And this is a pioneering a famous study but done by McFarlane and Woosley in 1999. And they show that the, a strong jet is uh, launched by neutrino, anti-neutrino pair annihilation <coughs> uh, that's uh, coming from the accretion disk. So accretion disk is formed around the black hole because a uh, progenitor star is rotating very fastly. And from the accretion disk, neutrino and anti-neutrino uh, eject are ejected, and uh, due to the pair annihilation, thermal energy is uh, produced at the bottom of the black hole. And uh, due to the thermal pressure, a uh, jet is launched. But uh, in this study, uh, gravity is treated as a Newtonian gravity, and uh, uh, honestly speaking, uh, they did not solve the neutrino physics. So what they did in this study was to put thermal energy directly in the, around the black hole region. Then uh, they show that the thermal pressure drives the jet. Uh, in 2007, uh, our group did a uh, similar simulation, but with uh, some neutrino physics, including neutrino anti-neutrino pair annihilation effect. Uh, this treatment treatment is uh, very simple, but uh, uh, anyway, uh, we included such neutrino physics effect. Uh, also, in this study, uh, black hole gravity is treated as a Newtonian gravity, and what we found is that. Uh, uh, like this. This is the equatorial plane and this is the rotation axis and uh, this is the accretion disk and uh, much of neutrinos is ejected but the uh, pair annihilation effect is not, was not so effective to drive a jet. Uh, oppositely, uh, matter is keeping in falling into the black hole. 
So the, uh, in this study, uh, I, we couldn't find the gamma ray burst jet. But I, I don't want to conclude that this scenario is ruled out by our study. Uh, this is just an, one example. So in this condition, we cannot find the GRB jet. But if you change the progenitor star or uh, angular momentum distribution, uh, or if you uh, improve the treatment of neutrino physics, maybe uh, we can find the GRB jet according to this scenario. So there are a lot of things to do for this scenario. This is a uh, black hole uh, scenario with strong B fields. Um, <clears throat> In this study, uh, <clears throat> gravity is treated as a, a general relativistic uh, gravity. Okay. So as far as I know, there are two uh, <clears throat> uh, papers that have studied uh, jet formation using a general relativistic MHD code and uh, with an um, initial condition of massive, uh, massive star uh, that is rotating rapidly. Okay. One is uh, Barkov and Komisarov in 2008. Uh, they performed two-dimensional general relativistic MHD uh, simulation with a car parameter of 0.9 uh, with some microphysics. And they have shown that the jet is launched by extracting uh, rotation energy of a black hole and the rotation energy of a black hole drives the jet. But at, at present, the bulk Lorentz factor of the jet is still uh, low. Uh, it's uh, less than a few. So <clears throat> I think one of the reasons for the, this is that uh, they have simulated uh, their system uh, up to one second uh, after the uh, gravity core collapse, okay? So where, when the density is still too high to drive a very relativistic, highly relativistic jet. So if you can sim perform simulation more, much longer, say 10 seconds or more than that, density will be lower and this jet will be, uh, jet, the bulk Lorentz factor of this jet should be increasing. A similar conclusion was derived by me in 2009. I also did a two-dimensional general relativistic MHD simulation with a car parameter of 0.5 without microphysics. And uh, I also found a similar jet. And the bulk Lorentz factor is still uh, low. But anyway, uh, uh, extraction of rotation energy from a black hole uh, really works to drive a jet. This is really promising. Uh, recently, I'm doing a 3D uh, GRMHD simulation. Uh, the initial condition is same with 2D case. And uh, roughly speaking, I found a similar situation is happening in, yeah, even in 3D uh, case. Uh, I'd like to explain more about this simulation later. <clears throat> in Barkov and Komisarov and me, in, in our simulations, uh, black hole is put at the center. So we did not uh, solve the Einstein equation. Uh, rather, we put a black hole and, uh, by as an assumption. We assume that the black hole is formed as a result of gravitational quark collapse. And we put a black hole at the center and we assume that the car metric, car black hole metric. Uh, on the other hand, there are some studies on the black hole formation, okay? In their simulations, they solve the Einstein equation and as a result, as a result of quark collapse, a black hole is formed, okay? So one, uh, this is a simulation by Sekiguchi and Shibata in 2011. Uh, they did a full 2D GR uh, hydro simulation with some microphysics. And uh, they found that uh, 
uh, due to the uh, rotation and the gravitational collapse, uh, black hole and accretion disk is really formed. Uh, okay. But well, uh, unfortunately, uh, <clears throat> jet is not seen uh, yet uh, because this simulation is too very expensive, so they cannot follow a long time scale. So uh, now currently, black hole formation and the accretion disk formation is followed by them. And a similar result was obtained by Christian Ott in 2011. They solved the uh, full 3D general relativistic hydro without microphysics. Okay. Also, uh, currently, they did not include uh, uh, magnetic so field. What is the initial condition for these pictures? What, what started? Uh, okay. Rotating progenitor star is uh, chosen as an initial condition, and the ion, massive ion core is uh, what formed. What the core? Uh, uh, I don't remember exactly, but... Uh, but because mm -hmm. uh, the most important is this picture, the mass of core yes. and angular momentum of yes. core. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think mm. you, uh, you take the uh, mm -hmm. small angular momentum. Mm -hmm. There is another mm -hmm. way. If mm -hmm. you have the angular momentum more than the parameter one, mm -hmm. uh, you, have, uh, you mm -hmm. cannot uh, mm -hmm. create the mm -hmm. core. Mm -hmm. This is another scenario. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nobody uh, mm -hmm. considered it. Mm -hmm. Okay, as far as I understand, uh, uh, at least Christian Ott uh, did uh, such a simulation for various um, progenitor models developed by uh, Uzre and Heger. And uh, in most cases, they found that the black hole is not formed. Instead, uh, core bounce happens and the neutron star is formed at the center. No, but, uh, no, no, no. Okay. There is another possibility. Mm -hmm. If you have the mm -hmm. large mass at the center core, yes, mm -hmm. but large angular moment, mm -hmm. you, uh, you create a black hole, but not immediately during this. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. After dissipation mm -hmm. of angular moment, mm -hmm. this is another mm -hmm. scenario. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yes. If uh, neutron starts, you can formate it only the core mass less than Chandra Sikara. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think this is the, yeah, I, I think you were right. So this uh, simulation corresponds to the massive core, uh, ion core model. And uh, yeah, I think this is uh, the direct core collapse and the uh, um, black hole is formed directly, but uh, if you uh, solve the less core mass case, uh, core bounce happens, then uh, again, this explosion fails and uh, start to accrete again, then black hole is formed. Uh, so, uh, such simulation is also shown by the paper. Okay. Uh, as for the magnet scenario, uh, there are uh, several simulations on the uh, relativistic, uh, okay, strong jet formation uh, is shown. Uh, one is Komisarov and Barkov in 2007. They solved the two-dimensional GR MHD uh, simulation with some microphysics. Okay, okay. Um, it, magnet is put at the center, and they have shown that the strong jet is driven by rotating magnet. Well, unfortunately, the speed of the, this jet is still low. Okay, again, this is because, uh, I think this is because they could not follow the system for a long time scale and the density is still high and the uh, relativistic jet is not seen uh, at the moment. On the other hand, in Butchianti in 2009, uh, they have shown that, the, uh, again, the strong jet is uh, propagating uh, and with the bulk, bulk Lorentz factor of 0 to 10, okay? They have solved the two-dimensional uh, special relativistic MHD simulation with, without uh, microphysics. I think that they, uh, the reason why 
a high bar tolerance factor is seen in this the simulation is because uh, they have followed the system for a long time scale. So, okay, so they follow the system for 10 seconds or something, then bulk tolerance factor is getting higher and higher, and then finally bulk tolerance factor reaches to five or 10. So if you can follow more, a more uh, highly relativistic jet will be seen. This is my understanding. Again, uh, in Komisarov and the Bukiantini, a uh, magnet uh, was put as an initial condition. On the other hand, uh, there are many uh, simulations on the formation of magnet. Okay, uh, it, like uh, uh, it was presented by Sergei Moisenko yesterday, and uh, they solved the core collapse of iron core. So magnet is formed as a result of the simulation. Okay, they solved the core collapse and. Uh, with an initial condition of a massive star that rotates rapidly and the magnetic field is amplified by differential rotation, then magnet is formed. Uh, this was done by Takiwaki uh, in 2009. They solved the special relativistic MHD simulation uh, with, uh, with neutrino physics, realities, realistic equation of state, but uh, this simulation, again, becomes very expensive, so they could not follow the system for long time scale, say up to 100 milliseconds, and bulk Lorentz factor is still low. A similar conclusion is done by yeah, our group too. Also, <clears throat> this is a simulation by Barrow, Adam Barrow's group in 2007, and uh, they also show that the uh, uh, magnet Historically driven jet is seen and the magnet is formed at the center. And, uh, but in the simulation, uh, gravity is treated as a Newtonian gravity. But uh, detailed neutrino physics and realistic equation of state uh, is uh, included. Now, they could not follow the system for a long time scale. And uh, uh, since uh, the hydro also Newtonian, so they cannot estimate the bulk Lorentz factor of the, this jet. Okay, uh, this is a um, review of the um, history of the numerical study on the gamma ray burst engine. And I, from now, I would like to uh, present uh, my recent study on the rotating black hole with strong magnetic fields by a general relativistic MHD code uh, that I uh, developed uh, from scratch. And the GR MHD code is necessary to see a brand photogenic process. A brand photogenic process is a, a process to extract rotation energy from a black hole with the help of magnetic field. And the brand photogenic process can be seen numerically now. Okay, so originally it was this effect was pointed out by Brand Ford and Zuniak in 1977, analytically. So this is the analytical uh, uh, schematical picture, uh, and they assume the split monopole solution. Okay, they show that the split monopole solution by using a perturbation method with respect to the car parameter, uh, they could solve the system uh, analytically, okay? And uh, they could estimate the energy extraction rate from a rotating black hole analytically, okay? The leading term was derived by them, okay? C is the amplitude of B field, and A is a car parameter. Okay, so energy extraction rate is proportional to B C square. So the okay, uh, uh, square of amplitude of B field. Okay, so if the magnetic field is amplified, more energy is extracted. 
Also, car parameter represents the degree of rotation. Uh, the range is from zero to unity. So unity is a maximum rotating case, and zero is non-rotating case. Okay. So energy extraction rate is proportional to a square. This is a re leading term. Okay, and uh, <clears throat> 30 years later, we uh, I obtained the second leading term like this. Okay, but uh, this was obtained by Tanabe and me, uh, 2008. Okay, uh, this is an analytical expression. Also, so we have to assume the configuration of B field as a monopole like. Okay. Also, uh, since we are using a perturbation method with respect to car parameter, uh, this analytical solution is valid only for slowly rotating black hole. Okay. So this uh, analytical solution can be applicable to slowly rotating black hole. On the other hand, uh, numerically, we can, of course, reproduce we should reproduce this solution if you assume the same situation uh, as an initial condition. Uh, we can uh, reproduce this situation. Also, numerically, we can consider highly rotating case also with different configuration of magnetic field. Now, anyway, this is a comparison uh, among the analytical solution and the numerical uh, uh, result obtained my GRMHD code. Uh, I put the same situation numerically, and I solved the sy system, and I checked that uh, this system is steady, and uh, uh, at some point, I uh, checked the outgoing uh, pointing flux energy as a function of car parameter. Okay, so this is a uh, uh, fast reading term. And this green line corresponds to the sum of the leading term and the second leading term. This is the analytical result, uh, no, no, numerical result. Again, uh, this is applicable only for slowly rotating parameter, car parameter, and uh, everything is consistent with each other. So that's why I think my code is working well. Also, for rapidly rotating black hole case, uh, this solution cannot be applicable. Uh, rather, we should believe, we should trust the numerical result. Also, again, uh, we can study uh, different configuration of magnetic field numerically. Uh, that's why I developed numerical code. And using my GRMHD code, uh, uh, I did a sh simulation of gamma ray burst. And this is the initial condition. I choose the fa uh, fastly rotating massive star model uh, developed by Uzure and Heger in 2007, which has a massive ion core. And uh, in this study, again, uh, ion core is extracted and the uh, rotating black hole is put at the center as an initial condition, and whose uh, black hole's mass was assumed to two solar mass with a car parameter of 0.5. And I used the simple equation of state with a uh, power law index of over four over three. Also, I put a weak, very weak magnetic field by putting vector potential. Uh, this uh, gives a poroidal, poroidal B field. But this is very weak initially. So minimum value of plasma beta uh, ratio of the thermal gas pressure and magnetic pressure, the minimum value was 100. So thermal pressure is much higher as an initial condition. But finally, due to the uh, differential rotation and gravitational collapse, magnetic field is amplified and uh, black uh, brand hole Zuniac process start to work very efficiently, and jet is launched. Uh, this is a result of the simulations. Uh, this is the same simulation, but uh, with a different scale. And 
Uh, this is a central region, and this covers a wider region. And uh, this uh, shows the density contour in logarithmic scale, and the dynamics is followed up to 1.77 seconds from the core collapse. Okay. As you see, uh, initially, um, matter falls onto black hole and uh, almost steadily. Okay. But at some point, uh, B field is amplified and the brand of the genetic process start to work very efficiently. And along to the rotation axis, a jet is launched. Okay, I did the same simulation for, but for. But, but if you come back to the initial condition, you can find that uh, so fast rotation of the black hole is very good. And so inside the usual stance, cannot be exist because the spin down, usual magnetic spin down, uh, very quickly synchronizated this mm. uh, white board with the mm. body of mm. the star. Mm. This mm. no physical initial mm. condition. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, I don't know so much about the uh, initial uh, progenitor model, but you, but you take mm. one percent magnetic mm. energy from the gravitational energy, yes? Uh, initially, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, initially, uh, less than, much less than 1%. No, 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 please, uh, uh, previous uh, slides. Uh, not before, before, one more. Uh, mid, uh, pair gas to pair magnetic, 1% magnetic. Yeah, of thermal pressure. 1% energy magnetic. 1% is in. This very large magnetic field. Mm -hmm. Due to magnetic friction inside the star, this white board very quickly spin down. Mm -hmm. This situation can be in real astrophysics. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe yeah, we should uh, do more parametrical study by using a uh, weaker case, uh, but um, this is still underway. Is the point you are making that there is going to be no rapidly rotating or you are saying that you can't have both fabric rotation and strong free. This is the point you're trying to make. Uh, but he, uh, he wants to receive the care metric with A above 1. Uh, yeah, right, that's okay. This is impossible. Well, what we do see in nature, after all, we do see the initial structure produced with a rapid rotation. Not we do use uh, neutral star, uh, the same problem. Nobody knows about the velocity of the core of the star. I think this is very slow in, in usual situation. This the result of the, if you look to the radio pulse evolution, to the astrophysics, real binary system, so only in short binary system you can take the very large angular moment, but not for the way to Okay. This, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I know. Discussion. Yeah, yeah, I know about because such a discussion. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The core collapse gives the GRB, but core not enough circular momentum. In real astrophysical situation. Yes, yes. Yeah, I know about such discussion. If but you, uh, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. you, you need to have the very large nuclear, like to 100,000 kilometers, 300,000 kilometers. In this case, you have an angular moment. This astrophysical situation for the basic star, 100 uh, solar mass in binary system. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's a very good point, and uh, yeah, it is a big challenge to find a rapidly rotating progenitor with a uh, yeah, strong <coughs> magnetic field. So th th there are many discussions about that, and uh, yeah, add, it's uh, yeah, still under debate. Yes, this is my understanding. OK, so I did the same simulation with, uh, except for car parameter. OK, so this is the uh, density contour at the same time slice. This is not the time sequence. This is a time slice at the same time for different simulations. Uh, difference is the car parameter. Okay, in the Schwarzschild black hole case, 
uh, there is no rotation energy to be extracted. So jet is not seen. And if you uh, go to the high rapidly rotating case, a uh, stronger jet is seen. So from these figures, uh, it is confirmed that uh, this jet is really driven by rotating black hole. Also, uh, this is the most uh, in the region of the simulation. Uh, this is a black hole. This is a rotating black hole with a car parameter of 0.95. And this is, uh, colors represent the outgoing pointing flux energy, okay? In units of 10 to 50 ergo per second per stellarion, uh, the final stage of my simulation. So energy is really extracted from rotating black hole. So this guy, uh, this energy is an energy source to drive a jet, okay? So at the final stage of the simulation, I uh, checked the jet energy. The jet energy with, uh, uh, within the theta of five degree and 10 degree as a function of car parameter. So for non-rotating black hole case, no jet was seen. So the jet energy is zero. But uh, as you see, uh, as the par par car parameter is increasing, uh, more uh, st stronger jet is, was seen. And uh, this energy is almost comparable to uh, 10 to 50 L. So it, it, at the one point, one second or something. So if you, we can follow the system 10 seconds or something, we can explain the GRB energy. That's my expectation. And recently I'm doing the 3D GRB simulation. Uh, this is a case of 0.9 case. And uh, this is a density contour uh, with uh, B field. So at uh, 0.8 second, okay? And uh, these are uh, same uh, uh, result of the same simulation, but this is a 3D plot and uh, this is a slice in the uh, rotation axis and the equatorial plane. And uh, yeah, this is a 2D slice. Uh, density contour with a poroidal magnetic field, okay? So initially, uh, the system is like this. So matter is infolding into the, onto the black, black hole, and the B field is, becomes uh, monopole-like, okay? Like this, very poroidal. But after the, after the jet launch, uh, uh, along, around the black hole, the toroidal field is in amplified little by little due to the differential rotation and the jet starts to launch. And you can see the uh, toroidal component. And finally, the uh, jet is uh, re uh, clearly seen uh, with the uh, toroidal field like this. Again, uh, this is a time sequence of the simulation in the, with a 2D slice. So this is a, a status at the 0.35 second, and this is a 0.8 second. This is almost similar. But this is, these are not the uh, same figures. But the, the system, since the system is almost steady, uh, these uh, looks very similar. And after uh, some time, a uh, toroidal field is amplified little by little, then brand photogenic process start to work and the jet is launched, okay? So please remember that the brand photogenic process is po power is proportional to B square. So if when the B field is amplified, BZ power is also amplified, okay? The future study, I'm in extending my code. Uh, I'm trying to attach um, adaptive mesh refinement uh, technique to my uh, code. Uh, this is a test sh simulation, but AMR is like this. 
uh, if you need finer resolution, you can put more grids. But if you don't need uh, uh, fine resolution, you don't have to put fine uh, grid, uh, grid system. So this is really um, efficient to save the CPU power. So by using this technique, I, I think I can do a finer resolution uh, simulation. Also, uh, in, from September 2012, uh, the fastest computer in the world becomes open to Japanese scientists. Uh, this computer's name is K. K means uh, 10 peta in Japanese. And this is a character for K in Japanese and Chinese. Okay, anyway, 10 petaflops computer will be open to Japanese society, and uh, now I'm <laughs> planning to apply for, uh, apply to use this computer, fastest computer. And uh, I'd like to do the um, finer uh, resolution simulation in the near future. Okay, this is a summary on the central engine of long gamma ray burst. An outline of explosion mechanism of long gamma ray burst is still under debate. There are lots of things to do. And the rotation energy of a black hole can be extracted with the help of B fields, brand photogenic effect. And faster is better. Rapidly rotating black hole can drive an energetic GRB jet. And GRB simulations by 3D GRMHD code are being done, and ML, MR will be attached, and 10 petaflops computer will be open very soon. I think I still have five minutes, so, yeah. And uh, so I, I would like to change, and uh, I would like the topic, and I would like to show our recent study on gamma ray burst. Uh, using five minutes. Uh, gamma ray burst as a treasure box of physics and mysteries. So up to now, I only uh, talked about the central region of a gamma ray burst. But uh, after that, there are plenty of uh, interesting topics about the gamma ray burst. For example, after the jet launch, uh, explosive nucleosynthesis should happen here. Also, relativistic jet propagates. And uh, as Kumail's talk uh, yesterday, uh, there should be some dissipation. And the gamma ray burst is produced here. But we don't know the mechanism. Maybe photospheric emission, but maybe magnetic dissipation or internal shocks. And uh, if you use uh, gamma ray burst, uh, GRB cosmology may be possible. And the afterglow is followed, and the finally, gamma ray burst and the supernova remnants will be, should be produced. So we are studying uh, these topics. Uh, yeah. And I would like to uh, introduce our study very shortly. OK. <clears throat> uh, first, I'd like to introduce our study on explosive nucleosynthesis in jet-induced supernova. So that uh, includes gamma ray burst, but not only gamma ray burst, but also jet-like supernova explosion. And the calculations of explosive nucleosynthesis in jet-induced supernova were done to explain, and predict, and find uh, these things. Okay. <clears throat> Large titanium-44 production, that may be important for supernova 1987A. And Cassiopeia A uh, was found. And the line profile of ion for supernova 1987A uh, is produced. And the kick velocity of a neutron star in supernova 1987A is predicted. And split line profile of for highly aspherical explosion is also pre was predicted. 
And the correlation between duration of explosion and amount of nickel-56 for hypernovae uh, was were predicted. And the dark supernova associated with gamma ray bursts are also predicted. I don't have time to explain all of them, so I'd like to show you some results about that, uh, about some topics. This is the observed line profile of iron for supernova 1987A. This is a blue shifted side, and this is a red shifted side. And you can see that the uh, highly red shifted and blue shifted component exist. Also, the line profile is asymmetric. Okay? So as for the highly uh, moving component, uh, this component is reproduced by jet-like explosion. And this asymmetric profile is explained by aspherical explosion uh, with respect to the equatorial plane. Okay, this is a result of the calculation. This is a uh, mass fraction of nickel-56. Okay, so much of nickel-56 is produced in the jet, jet region. These guys can explain the highly uh, escaping, uh, 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 escaping component with high velocity. And uh, we assume the aspherical explosion, uh, such a symmetric profile is reproduced, okay? So in this aspherical model, more nickel-56 is going to the red shift side. Okay? And due to the momentum balance, a uh, neutron star should be running toward the blue shifted side. Okay? So maybe, as you know, the neutron star in the supernova 19A is not found yet. But my prediction is that the neutron star should be running toward the blue shifted side. And current, uh, uh, recently, uh, <clears throat> the red shift uh, region and the south, uh, no, no, okay. Uh, from the detailed analysis of line, ion line and the silicon line, uh, it, it, it has turned that the south part, southern part is red shifted side, and the northern part is blue shifted side, okay? This is a uh, blue shifted component, okay? And this is a red shifted component. So as for the blue shifted component, north is bright, and the, the, for the blue shifted, uh, red shifted side, south is bright, okay? So my conclusion is that, uh, okay, pulsar, a neutron star should be running to the blue shifted side. So in supernova 1987A, uh, neutron star should be exist in the north re, north, northern part. This is my prediction. So we are revisiting uh, this topic by final resolution study uh, with my postdoc, like this. Okay, this is my, the summary of my talk. Thank you very much.